When we went to Coffee Bean, first time I've ever ordered a chai tea. Bob, the thoughtful character he is, decided to order a lifetime supply of chai tea because I liked it and that's what he does. So if anyone needs some chai tea, let me know. I have enough to feed an army. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I have a table. What I'm saying is I don't have to wait on like a ridiculous line. I you actually should. have a table assignment. Oh, you do? You like it? Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Awesome. Now I have to switch things up. We're on break. Pretty good first couple levels. We have like 70k coming back to 2k big blind. So 35 bigs and we late red. Uh, gonna meet Bobby Boy at the King's Lounge and then we're gonna talk about that King Queen hand. We found him. We found him. He was hiding in the King's Lounge. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello poker pros. Come kneel before me. <laughs> the King's Lounge. Okay. Let's talk hands. So you guys saw the King Queen hand. The action on that one was the blinds were 1,500 with a 1,500 big big blind ante. I raised king of clubs, queen of diamonds to 3,200 on the butt. The big blind flop. The flop is king of diamonds, queen of clubs, eight of clubs. So I flop top two pair and I have a club blocker. So he checks. I decided to see bet small here. I bet 2K. And the reason is because A, I block top two pair. So I'm blocking a lot of his calling range. I'm blocking his some of his flush draws because I'm holding the king of clubs. But I want to keep him in with like hands like jack nine, eight Ace 10 and things like that. He's also gonna have completely missed this. I have like ace three or something. So if he had like three of diamonds or something, like I want I want him to call. So I bet small, he calls the 2K. The turn is the five of diamonds. Definitely gonna be betting again here. I bet 5K now. I do think he's gonna have like a lot of jack 10 combos. So maybe he called the flop with an eight. That's probably gonna fold to another bet on the, on the turn here. He still could have some flush draws. He could still have like hands like jack nine, maybe with a club blocker or something. Or maybe it's a king or a queen. So I bet 5k he calls. Now the river is the three of hearts, so a total brick. Now I decide to really bet big here. I bet 19,500, which is like a little under the size of the pot. It's about a pot size bet it's because A, I wanted to look really polarized, so I wanted to look like I bricked draws. And if he had bricked a draw, like if he had a flush draw that missed or if he had jack 10 that missed, he's not gonna be able to call any size bet. I figured why not bet big in the event he has a king, he might hero call us. If he doesn't have a club blocker, he might even be more inclined to call us with a king or a queen. So I decided to bet big. He thought forever and wound up folding. So I think he was really close to calling there. So that was a fun one and we took down a nice little pot. By the way, guys, I just discovered cinematic mode. How cool does that look? Do we like? Let me know in the comments. Did you or is it too it? trippy? Did you discover it, really? <laughs> I, I took total credit for that. You know what? He's blurred out. He should be the blur in the background. <laughs> Every, hashtag blurred Bob. <laughs> raise. Re raise. I thought I could. All in. Uh, that is so sad. Alright, give me 500 back. Alright. Should I get the three, 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 three,
neighbor took the camera for me. If you're in the camera picture, then it's... <laughs> I guess we have the mystery. Uh, what do you have? <laughs> I have more of the eats. I have draws. You have draws, you have motor pairs, you have some jacks. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the other one. Oh, yeah. Hot clock. And then the blinds are going up, so I don't want to play with 40k either. Dinner break, do you want to have a dinner break? Oh, that's goading me into a cold. Why? Uh, that means you want a cold. I had a pair. Okay. I put her on a good solid. Oh, Had a good little two levels, built it up, have like 110k, coming back to 4k big blinds. Uh, apparently the money bubble broke in level 17, five more levels and we'll be in the money. I'll take it, gonna meet Bobby Boy, we're gonna go on a walk, then we'll talk about that queen's hand I played earlier. I, I looked at him! Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's Let's talk about that queen's hand that I played. Blinds were 1,2500 with a 25 big blind Andy. The under the gun player raises to 5k. He's like pretty aggressive player, raising a lot of hands. I have queen of hearts, queen of club in later position, and I three bet to 13,500. We are 70,000 effective. He calls. Flop is jack of spades, eight of diamonds, five of spades. He down plays into me. He bets 8,500. I figured I think it's better to call in the event he has pocket tens or nines or like jack ten, queen jack. Like, I don't think those hands are going to be able to withstand a raise. So I decided to call and let his you know, let him keep bluffing into me. So I call. The return is the eight of heart. He bet 16,500. I was debating shoving or calling, and I was like going through the options in my head, so I went all in. There's no guarantee that he's gonna bluff Brick River. So if he has a draw like nine ten, maybe like queen nine, queen nine of spades, those hands are gonna check and give up at some frequency because my range looks pretty strong. Looks like I can e easily have aces, kings, queens. So I didn't think that there was a guarantee that he was gonna bluff if he missed. And I did wanna charge him and deny his draws equity, right? Like if he had a hand like 9-10 or, or a flush draw, like I wanted to charge him for those hands. Plus I thought that there was a chance that he would like fast call it off with ace draw because I was being pretty aggressive and had shown down a couple bluffs earlier. I wound up shoving. He thought forever and wound up folding and he said that he had red sevens, so pocket sevens. I mean, I don't, I don't know, maybe he, if I had just called, he would have bluff shoved the river, but I, I don't think so. That was a fun one that we took down. Cheers the camera, Bobby. Cheers. Cheers, all the way up. With. Hello. Hello, Lexi. How, How are, are you? you? Good. How are you? <laughs> uh, 7,746 players entered this flight, and there's 1,920 left. Still quite a ways to go. No, 
was going to take it, right? All right. Chipping up nicely. We have a little under 200K coming back to 8K big blinds. We are in the money in level 17 and we're coming back to level 15. I was involved in a hand where I opened Jack Knight of Spades in the cutoff of the big blind calls. Flop is 10 six, two, rainbow, one spade. I see that, small, like a quarter pot, he calls. I think that he's gonna have like some 10X, 6X, some 2X, ace highs that he's gonna call a flop with, maybe some like backdoor flush draws, whatever. The turn is the king of spades, now bringing in my flush draw. He checks, I bet again, like 45% pot. I'm really trying to get him to fold like sixes and twos and ace highs, but he calls again. The river was, it was a three, I believe. He checked, and I decided to bet, so I to go for the gold here. I don't think he's, like, I I think that by betting, I'm putting a lot of pressure on his 10X to um, have to call. So like a hand like 9-10 and 10-8 suited, even ace-10, uh, are all gonna have a lot of trouble calling, and I don't think he's gonna have like too many king highs that he's floating the flop with, like king highs with like backdoor flush draw or something. Thought that I was gonna be able to get the fold, so. Uh, I bet, and he wound up folding. All right, $271,000 for first place. We'll take that. We're about 100 players away from the money. It's gonna go fast within an hour. Let's get those hands. We will take any of the top three places happily. Seven people away from my fourth WSOP cash. Let's go. Six people away. Just change. One player away. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you earned the money. Yay. Yay. All right, let's go. Yeah. Time to run it up. Hand. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. No more? No, I, I see the other, like, I've looked it up a few times. I think it's great. Oh, thank, uh, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That plot looked great. Turn perfection. Yes. And then that bloody river. I'm going to get my little payout ticket thing, and then we're going to pick a winner. I cash, so I am going to also pick a winner. Can we watch all your videos? Oh, thank you. <laughs> and drum roll, please. The winner is with our hashtag, MarkingPHS on Twitter. You won $100, all you have to do is DM us, us and we will get the money over to you. So congratulations, we will pick another uh, winner tomorrow. And then I have a day two tomorrow, and yeah. I can make the money, and somebody could win up to $10,000. That's right, so good night guys. <laughs>